result of the charges. Alex. Well, earlier tonight, the new sheriff was booked into his own jail, but even after he posted bail, he wasn't able to go home. Because of a protective order requested by prosecutors, Mercurimi is not allowed to have any contact with his wife or son for the next week. Charged with domestic violence against his wife, this is the mugshot released tonight of San Francisco Sheriff Ross Mercurimi. Not only facing three misdemeanor counts, but also not allowed to see his family because of a restraining order. And I know his wife wants him to go back. She didn't want an emergency protective order by no means. Mercurimi's attorney, Bob Wagner, told us the sheriff will be staying with friends for the time being. After learning he'd been charged, the sheriff spoke out at City Hall, defending himself against accusations he injured his wife, Ileana Lopez, during a New Year's Eve argument. I believe that these charges um, are very unfounded, and we will fight these charges. The sheriff surrendered at the jail. Sources tell us an area was cleared for the high-profile booking. Lopez was seen waiting in a car outside, but she left without her husband. This is my family, my husband and my son. This is unbelievable. This is completely wrong. Lopez says her husband never hurt her. And while District Attorney George Gascon says she is refusing to cooperate with prosecutors, he still felt there was enough evidence to charge, including photos and video of the injury. Gascon says no one is above the law. Whether this was the elected sheriff or any other San Francisco resident, this type of behavior is inexcusable, criminal, and will be prosecuted. Along with Battery, the district attorney also charged the sheriff with child endangerment because he says the couple's son was there during the argument. Mercurimi said today he has no plans to step down as sheriff. He believes he can still serve while this case moves forward. And Mercurimi will likely be arraigned on Tuesday after the long holiday weekend. If he's convicted, the district attorney says he could face up to a year in jail.